What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's week 13 in the NFL. And, man, we're about to go over some picks. Tonight, we got about, well, it's 7.50 right now on Thursday night. I haven't gotten to my video until now. But, got a little bit till kickoff. Okay, I'm sure by the time most people watch this video, uh, the Cowboys-Seahawks game will be done. For the record, I'm picking the Cowboys. Okay, I know it's, it's a nine-point spread. Both teams are right there, side by side in the standings, but it's just, it's, you know the Cowboys are far and above these other wildcard teams. They just have the misfortune of being in the same division with the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't remember all the rest of the games, so we're going to get into it here with the phone again. Uh, my dad, he goes, hey man, I think I got a tip for you. I was like, what's that, man? He goes, why don't you get yourself a whiteboard? <laughs> and... And I was like, hey, that's a, you know, that's a good idea. But I, I have a whiteboard, you know, and, and I, I use it. I took a picture of it. I'm going to put it in the video. And I use it. But it's a lot of work to write down all the matchups and all the teams. So I'm just going to do it from here. I'm just going to, you know, okay. It tells me everything I need to know. And I can look at the camera. If, I'm, if it's less engaging, I'm sorry. Um, but here we go. Sunday, 1 o'clock. Colts got a big one. You look here, you look everywhere, you see Colts. You know I'm rooting for the Colts. The Colts were a two-and-a-half-point favorite. But since the Jonathan Taylor news, uh, that, that uh, favorite's dropped a little bit. But still still a road favorite. One-point favorite. The Titans, 4-0 at home. Tough. But, you know, it's a, it's a road division game. You cannot take this game lightly, especially being where you're at. Six and five, you're, you're battling for a wild-card spot right now. This is a, I mean, every game is a must win in the NFL if you want to make the playoffs, if you want to, you know, win. Every game, every game is a must win, right? So, but you got to win your division games and you got to beat the teams that everybody thinks that they're going to beat. Will Levis, he hasn't done really much since the first game he had against the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I think the Colts win this one. I think the Colts are on the road, win by a touchdown. Hopefully, that it's not as close as last game. 23 to 16, but like I said, it's a divisional game, and most of the time you play play your divisional opponents tough. Uh, speaking of the division, the AFC South, the Texans host the Broncos. Now, which team should the Colts root for? I want I want to say we root for, we should root for the Texans in this game. Since we don't play the Broncos, let's give the Broncos a loss. Okay, that we don't have to worry about that. Since we have Houston later, we can be able to take care of them later. So, go Texans. They're three and a half point favorites. They're home. They're at home, but they didn't sell out last time against the Jags. So, you know, they're still be it'll still be loud, but it won't be as loud as it could be. But I'm still gonna go with Houston Texans in this one. Uh, the Chargers and the Patriots at New England. This game, uh, I don't care. Chargers are five and a half point favorites. Chargers just just lose so many close games. They can't they can't get it done. But the Patriots suck. Patriots, I say that. I I mean that the Patriots suck at football. They've scored seven and six points in the last two games, respectively. It's it's just not good football. It's not. So so give me the Chargers. <laughs> I guess Chargers uh, in New England. Then the Detroit Lions, they try to come off of their their loss last week after losing to the Packers on Thanksgiving. So they have they've had a little bit of time off. They're playing the Saints, who are also coming off of a loss against the Atlanta Falcons. So, you know, both these teams looking to avenge their loss. The Lions have a little bit more to play for. The Lions, you know, I feel like they're they're battling for that playoff spot. They still have a good lead in the North, but you still, you, you know, you want to get a higher seed, a better seed, you get, you know, home field advantage. What if the Eagles slip? You know? Big one. But I'm going to go with the Lions in this one. And then we got the Arizona Cardinals at the Pittsburgh Steelers. All Colts fans should be rooting for the uh, for the Arizona Cardinals in this one. For sure. But it's not going to happen. Steelers, Steelers are going to route them. They, they, uh, they went over 400 yards for like the first time this season, last week. And everybody... Guys, so excited. They're probably going to do the same thing. The Cardinals suck. Okay, Cardinals, 
one of the worst teams in the league to two and ten. It's it's not gonna happen. It's in Pittsburgh. Forget about it. Falcons. They're playing solid football. They're tied for first in the NFC North. They're traveling to the New York Jets. And something interesting is going on with the Jets. Aaron Rodgers. They opened it up this twenty one practice twenty one day practice window. So Aaron Rodgers is gonna potentially return, which is wild. I think he should rest it. I think he should not come back, but he wants to prove everybody wrong. You say, I can't come back and prove you wrong. That's what, it, I don't know. But Aaron Rodgers, you know, he, he's practicing. He's not going to play, you know, but he's practicing. But let's talk about this game. The Falcons, two-point road favorites. And I think that's going to be true. I think the Atlanta Falcons, I think they win. They're 5-6 and six right now. They can get to 500 with a win right here and, Really help their case in the NFC North. Really, they can. Then you have the Miami Dolphins traveling to the Washington Commanders. The Washington Commanders aren't great this season. I feel like they're a little below what everybody thought. They're four and eight. Uh, I don't think that anybody thought they're going to be a great team. Maybe a little better than what they were. They're hosts of the Dolphins. And not gonna, I keep saying every week the Dolphins are a wagon. The Dolphins can put up points. A drop of a hat. And the Commanders are just. You know, the defense, wow. I didn't realize this. Total yards, the Washington Commanders at 29th in the league. 30th in passing, 17th in rushing yards, and 32nd in points. That's not good. For a defense, also they traded Chase Young away. They traded the whole D-line away. A defense that we thought was going to be a lot better than what it is, that's a very good. So go ahead and give me the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins are top, you know, in that top part of the AFC, the, the Chiefs, the Jags, the Ravens, they're all, the Dolphins are all fighting for that number one spot. They're all like 8-3. and three. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But the Dolphins, they get a big win on the road. The Carolina Panthers, at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, an NFC South matchup. I may have said NFC North for the Atlanta Falcons, so I apologize. NFC South. Back to the groove. Uh, the Carolina Panthers travel to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Carolina Panthers fresh off of their coach firing. Don't even ask me who their interim head coach is. Don't even, I don't, they've heard rumors that Greg Olson is interested if the Panthers would come calling, which is just Greg Olson. It sounds like Greg Olson just saying, hey, yeah, I'd like to do it. But the Panthers haven't called him. I've seen that Bill Belichick might be the head coach of the Panthers next year because, uh, because, because, Bryce Young went to Alabama, and who's Alabama's head coach? Nick Saban. And Nick Saban and, and Bill Belichick are best friends. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. But we're here. We're now. Panthers suck. The Buccaneers, they're they're solid. Okay, they put up 20 points against the Colts. They played their ass off. They played the best they could, but it wasn't good enough to beat the Colts. But I think it would be good enough to beat the Carolina Panthers. They're favored by five points at home. Buccaneers win by 14. If you can, you bet, bet it, you know. Bet this game. I'm not a betting advisor. I don't advise you to bet. But I would bet this game. But I'm not going to. Uh, the Cleveland Browns, they travel to the L.A. Rams. So cross country. <sighs> they have quarterback issues. And the Rams, they're starting to pick it up. The Rams are starting to win some games. The Rams are 5-6. and six. The Rams are fighting for that, that wild card spot. They know they're probably out of the division race with the... The 49ers being the 49ers. But the Rams, 5-6 and six at home against the Browns. Browns, 7-4. They've struggled a bit, even though you know, they did lose. They lost to the Denver Broncos 29-12 last week. The Broncos are on a bit of a roll, too. This would be a good a good game. And I think, you know what, I think the Rams are going to come out and win this game because because Garrett, uh, Miles Garrett's a little banged up. Quarterback issues, I just think they're catching up to him, you know. And it also would be good for the Colts if the Browns got got a loss. Then we move into what could be the Sunday night game, but it's not. And it honestly should be. The San Francisco 49ers hosting, no, excuse me, traveling to. The San Francisco 49ers traveling to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Ooh, the Eagles two weeks in a row having two great games at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Look at this, man. The 49ers are three-point road dogs. And I'm telling you what, telling you what, the Eagles have just been a team that's resilient, that wins ugly. And I know that everybody's been saying it, 
but it's true. They're ten and one for a reason. They're a championship contender for a reason. It's because they can win games. Great, you know, they can win by games by a lot. They can win games by a little. It doesn't matter. That's what a championship team is. The Eagles and the 49ers are both championship teams. This is a really good game. I get off at 5.30. I'm watching this game. The Colts game is going to be over by then. Okay, I'll come home. I'm going to watch this game, and then I'll get to the Colts highlights and all that. Okay, this game right here. Whoo, man, this might be one of the one of the better games of the weekend. Man, give me the Eagles. The Eagles at home, man, you can't beat it. Eagles at home, man. The Niners are a good team, but man, the Eagles are just, this is a really good matchup. I can see this going either way. This is, I can't wait for this game. The Sunday night game, which I dogged on this a little bit, but the Packers, they're playing pretty solid. Jordan Love's starting to play pretty well. Five and six. These five and six teams in the NFC can start making their playoff push. Now, you know, let me take a look at the standings over here, here in the wild card. Right. So you've got the Dallas Cowboys at the 5 seed at 8-3. The Seattle Seahawks tonight, they play each other. The Seattle Seahawks are 6-5. Six the Minnesota Vikings are 6-6. Six six. Packers, 5-6. Rams, 5-6. Saints, 5-6. Two of those teams, though, are on the up and up. I'm talking about the Packers and Rams. Because the Rams are starting to get a little healthy with Matthew Stafford to come back and start to play a little better. The Packers, Jordan Love seems to be finding his rhythm. So these are big games for the Packers and the Rams. And also, you know, the Saints to get back on track, too, if they want to stay in this playoff mix. But the Buc right below that, the Buccaneers at 4-7 and seven, the Giants at 4-8. and eight, And everybody below them, you can forget about it. It's down to the Vikings, Packers, Rams, and Saints battling it out for, like, the final spot. You can also throw Seattle in there because Seattle's probably going to be 6-6 six and six after tonight. But that's crazy. That is, you got a lot of these five and six teams that are going to start winning games and are going to start making playoff pushes. So I think this game in Lambeau is huge. You get Kansas City traveling to Lambeau. They're coming off of a win against the Raiders where they struggled in the first first quarter of the game. They got down 14 nothing. You know, what will the Packers be like? I think the Chiefs ultimately win this game, but it could be, I could definitely see the, the Packers stunning the Chiefs. It would be an upset. This would be an upset if the Packers were to beat the Chiefs. Chiefs, six-point favorites. Probably will be the Chiefs. The Chiefs were really good, but let's look out for the Packers just a little bit for the NFC wildcard spot. Let's start to watch. Let's see how they play in this game. Now we move to Monday night. This looked like a really good game up until Joe Burrow got hurt. And I hate that because the Bengals at Jags would have been a playoff matchup. Would have been a playoff preview. But now with the Bengals, they're five and six. They lose this game, they're five and seven. I mean, and I got a Bengal, you know, there's a Bengals fan that I work with. And he's like, season's over. You know, he he said it before Joe Burrow got hurt. And then Joe Burrow came back. And now that he's hurt, he, it's done. And, and he's right. They're they're about to be five and seven because they're gonna lose to the Jacksonville Jaguars in Jacksonville. And they're done. So, yeah. And we got six teams on bye. We got, I think we got two more weeks of bye weeks. Man, it just get all the bye weeks out of the way before week 14. I hate these week 13, week 14 bye weeks. We got Baltimore, Buffalo, Chicago, Las Vegas, Minnesota, and the Giants all on buys this week. That's a lot of teams on bye. So my my fantasy playoff start this week. That's gonna be tough for some of the people in my league. I know my dad, he made the playoffs. He's got Lamar Jackson. That's tough. That's tough. But that's it. And, uh, these picks, man, it's, we're, getting, we're getting into the good stuff. We're getting into the playoff stuff. These are longer episodes for sure. These, are, these picks are just me breaking down what's going on in the NFL. And I hope you made it to the end. If you did, thank you. You know, if you made it to the end and you're new to the channel, I'm the big dog named Austin. I want you to subscribe. Let me come up with videos. You know, get my chicken videos, my duck videos. You know, those are always always entertaining. Uh, you know, sometimes I post goofy videos. You know, and then most of the time I'm I'm doing this. You know, because I'm the big dog named Austin, and I love football, and I love sports, and I love the NFL, and I love the Colts, and I'm gonna be making videos about all of that. 
So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, share, comment on this video. I appreciate you guys. Everybody have a good day.